we're fixing a porthole. We are close to finishing. One of our first boat projects is to fix the leaky portholes, which were previously covered up by flashing tape. When we uncovered the windows, we found a mystery, but more on that in a minute. Join us on this adventure of boat ownership while we replace our portholes. We have all our necessary tools to complete our project today, especially the coffee. We took out the porthole by removing the interior screws no sealant or caulk was present, so it was evident why it was leaking. Once the windows were back at our garage, we cleaned off the remaining tape residue with acetone. A quick coat of Rust-Oleum Glossy Black Spray Paint ensures they will be protected for years to come. Since these are unique windows, interior gaskets were not available for this porthole. I fashioned new gaskets from marine weather stripping purchased from Home Depot. The difference before and after cleaning is remarkable. Today we're starting on the second portal on the starboard side of the Finding Eden. Uh, the other side, the port side, uh, that we did a few days ago seems to be holding up well. And uh, I'm anxious to go ahead and get this project completed. This is the progress after about 45 minutes of removing the tape and using acetone to try to scrape off the rest of the adhesive. We are now done scraping off the adhesive and this is what it should look like. Here it is, all clean. You can tell by running your fingers around it if you feel any sticky parts. Here it's uh, all cleaned off. There certainly are some cracks and whatnot that we'll have to address when we redo the gel coat on the boat. But uh, for now, this will do. Now what you're gonna want is to get some of this stuff right here. It's called butyl tape. You can find it in Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. Uh, and it's used as a sealant uh, when combining two hard surfaces together. It's kind of like a gray putty. Um, it's not necessarily uh, an adhesive or sticky. What it does is help provide a watertight seal between two hard surfaces. So you're gonna wanna put this in between the window frame and uh, the boat hull. And then what we're gonna do is screw the uh, window, the porthole, into the hull and then we're gonna seal it from the outside using some adhesive sealant. And here we are. The porthole is now screwed into the hull from the inside. And it's important you wanna use stainless steel screws here. Uh, stainless steel is good for the marine environment, doesn't rust, and uh, will last a long time. It is slightly more expensive, but well worth it. Uh, now again, the butyl tape is on the other side of this porthole here, in between, sandwiched in between the actual porthole itself and the inside portion of the hull. And uh, now we're gonna go outside and seal uh, with some sealant, adhesive sealant from the outside. Now this is a highly unusual porthole window. Normally porthole windows have an outside bezel and an inside bezel and then the two screw together almost like a clamp. This particular window does not. Uh, this is only mounted from the inside and then screwed into the hull of the boat from the inside. Uh, what this now does is, if you can see here, uh, it actually leaves a gap between the hull and the outside of the uh, portable frame. 
So what we will be doing is taking adhesive sealant and filling that gap to make sure water doesn't go in there. Now, uh, I have called Catalina and I've spoken to many people here at uh, the sailing club. No one has ever heard of or seen a window like this. Uh, however, and, and I've searched the internet too, haven't been able to find replacements or anything that looks even similar. So it's a very unusual window and I will probably end up replacing these uh, with a normal window, normal porthole at some point, but I didn't really want to get into cutting a new hole uh, and all of that right now. I just wanted to seal these up, uh, get rid of that ugly black tape that was on here and have something more functional to allow light in and something that we could open during the summertime to allow uh, the breeze to come through. So what we're gonna do now is seal it up with sealant. And you can see I taped with painter's tape all around it just to try to keep uh, the mess down uh, to a minimum. And we will see how it turns out. Today I'm using 3M Marine Adhesive Sealant, 4000 UV. 4000 is, as you can see here, medium strength, which provides a good seal, um, yet it is removable if you ever want to take this porthole out. Not recommended to go all the way up to a 5000 because that's pretty much permanent to where you're chipping the hull away if you ever want to remove this in the future. Here's a bonus pro tip for all you ship doers out there. If your caulking gun continues to dry out and you have an expensive tube of caulk or sealant that you want to preserve for next time, just go ahead and take a nail and insert it into the end like so. Leave enough there so that you can grab it out next time. All right, sometimes you're going to need to use pliers to grab it back out. But then what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of tape and you're going to put it right in the middle just like that. Fold it over, just like so. And then you're gonna squeeze it all together. Make a nice airtight seal around that opening on the cock gun. And now it will not dry out on you. You're good to go. And there you go, folks. There is the finished product. It will certainly do what it needs to do for the time being. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video session today on replacing your porthole windows. My name's Eric with Finding Eden. Hope to see you next time. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, we hope the wind fills your sails.